Okay guys, my reading glasses are on my head. I am about to block Wild Swan. This is what it looks like right now. And um, I am kind of nervous because I have never knit a piece of lace where I didn't find a drop stitch during the blocking process. So this could be interesting and I have vowed that if I find one or more, I'm gonna show you exactly where they are and what I do. So, but I'm gonna hurry, like I'm gonna speed up the video of the blocking. I'm literally just pinning it out. So I'm gonna film the whole thing, but I'm gonna speed up the video so that you guys, you know, don't have to watch like half an hour of me searching for pins. So I got my pins ready, the board's ready. Oh, that's the other thing. I have this sheet of house wrap that I block on whenever I can and it's standing up. Normally I might do this flat if I had room, but I don't. So I'm gonna just have it standing up. It's against the closet and I'm gonna block right on there. Wish me luck. I haven't found a single drop stitch yet, you guys. I think I might have done it.
Look at that. How can anyone say that's not art? I've been spinning. It took me four weeks to spin it and a week to knit it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in close and go across. Look at that. This is Wild Swan. I will link the, um, the pattern page below because I can't pronounce the names of the designers. Oh, I need one more pin right there. But other than that, guys, we're done. And I didn't drop a stitch on this one. I'm pretty sure. Because they pop right out at you when you block. Yay! Hey, so this shawl is dry now. I'm going to go ahead and take the pins out and show it to you. Um, I didn't really talk about it. So basically, when you do this, I, I think it's self-explanatory, but maybe it's not to everybody. The best thing to do is to start at the top in the center and work both sides out and then like what I do is go to the bottom pull the bottom straight down and then you have options and that kind of more depends on the shape so also you need to plan on having to move some of these as you go and that's cool like just plan on having to do that so on this one I pinned out the big points first and then came back and did like the two side points just because I knew I'd have to move some of the big ones to make it even. So I'm gonna take these pins out and show you. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. Oh my gosh, check that out. I'm gonna put it against my black shirt so you can see better. Oh, look at that! Isn't that unreal? Gorgeous, I can't stand it and I didn't drop a stitch. I have to weave the ends in. I always, always recommend that you wait till the end because if you weave the ends in before and your stitches are like tighter and smaller and then when you try and stretch it, look at that. When you try and stretch it to block it, it will be more difficult. So wait until you're done blocking before you weave your ends in. 